For today's project, let's make a birdhouse Christmas tree ornament. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hello and welcome to Wolf Ridge Woodworking. I'm so happy that you're able to join me for a few minutes while we make this project. So we're going to make a birdhouse ornament. Uh, so this is going to be the, the bottom and this is going to be the, the top of it. Um, so it's, I've made one uh, a couple of weeks ago and it turned out really well. I already gave it away as a gift, but I wanted to make another one and show you how to do it. So gonna get the, this mounted up on the lathe and we'll get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do is mark our centers. I'm just using this center founding uh, jig. And as always, you start and you turn it clockwise or counterclockwise, you just gotta remember to do it all the time in the same direction. And what you end up with is multiple lines. And it's in between all of those multiple lines, it may be hard to see here, but that's where that actual center is. So let's get the other side marked up. And by the way, this is a piece of babinga that is about two by two and about six inches long. Now we're just gonna take our center punch and mark a hole where it's gonna go. All right, and then we're just going to put this on between centers before we, until we've got it round. So the next thing we want to do is mount it in our chuck and drill our hole uh, for the, the birdhouse. So let's get this center drive out. Just putting it um, where, our, where we had it centered and then I'm going to tighten down on it from there. And it's okay if it gets a little bit marred up there because we're going to turn that away. Okay, now we have our depth. Now what we need to do is drill our hole uh, for the birds to go in if this was a real tree. So I did it to about an inch and a half. So I think I'm going to go about three quarters of an inch inside. Get my little punch, and we're gonna go right there. And we are going to drill a three quarter inch hole there. All right, so we've got our hole drilled in there. Now I'm just gonna take some uh, 150 sandpaper and just smooth out the inside there. And then we're gonna take the opportunity to go ahead and sand the inside just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect because nobody's gonna see it, but just to, just to get a little bit on there, just gonna do 150 for a little bit. Okay, that's good, perfect, okay. So now what I wanna do is take out the drill chuck. And I'm just going to put our 60 degree center back in there. And it's just there just to hold it a little bit. I'm not gonna tighten it up because um, I don't want it to, uh, to uh, crack this here. So now what I wanna do is just start shaping um, the bottom here. Um, just gonna use various tools. So and you can make it like a little acorn. You can put it with a little finial on it. But you know, let's get in here and let's just, let's see what it can make.
So we've got it shaped up, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand from 150 to 600, finish it off, and then part it off here and try to get it to a point, and then just finish that off. I'll do that off camera, and then we'll move on to um, finishing or adding our top. Yep. All right, so we've got the bottom done. Now it's time for the top. So first thing's got to do is I got to make it round. Um, I'm going to establish a little tenon here that I can put it in the, um, the jaws of the chuck. And that's actually going to fit down inside the birdhouse. So, and then I'm going to do kind of like a swoop top with a little uh, ball on top. And that's where the, um, the hook will go into the top of that. So that's kind of the general plan. So I'm going to start with a roughing gouge and get the thing round. Alrighty, that's a good shape. Um, so I'm gonna sand it up and, um, and I'm gonna drill a little hole here for the, uh, the eye so it doesn't split that. Um, finish it with the axe abrasive paste and polish and then we'll glue it up to our base. Alrighty, so what I want to do is make a, uh, a little post right here. So I've got just a regular old round toothpick and I'm just going to cut off the thin end. And then, you know, you can choose how long you want it. But I think that should work. Alrighty, so I'm going to use the punch and you know, it doesn't have to be precise, but just, you know, somewhere in the middle here. Okay. Now I'm just gonna drill a little hole. Okay. Do a little test fit. And that's perfect. Okay. So now I'm just gonna drop a little bit of glue in here. Okay, 
there it is. Then I'll let that dry. Then I'm gonna uh, put some glue on and, uh, and glue the top on. So then I'll be right back to talk about it. That's gonna wrap up today's project and I couldn't be happier with the way that it turned out. There's several little different variations that you can really do on these. You can make them shorter. You can uh, not put the bottom finial type thing on here. You can make it look more like a, a acorn, but well, you know, it doesn't matter. It, it, it makes a nice little addition to our tree. So I hope you enjoyed this. And if uh, you celebrate Christmas, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And if not, I wish you a Happy Holidays. And I do hope that everyone takes an opportunity to spend time with friends and family, disconnect and just enjoy the time together. So this is going to be the last video of a 2019 team and i really appreciate you sticking around if it was a, something that you like give me a thumbs up if it wasn't something that you like give me that thumbs down but you know what tell me why you didn't like it so that i can improve if you want to see other videos uh, other projects click down here if you want to become a subscriber click up here click that bell so that you're notified when i upload a new video and as always i wish you and your family a blessed day thank you